something else that the Latin Mass Society has long tried to do is encourage Gregorian chant, to have Gregorian chant at uh, Latin Mass Society events um, and so on. And Gregorian chant is not something that even professional singers can necessarily simply pick up and sing. It requires specific kind of training um, from people who, who really understand the chant tradition. The chant course caters for both beginners in the chant um, and those with more experience and some but not all of the sessions are divided by, by levels of experience and that's something that we've always tried to maintain by having two chant tutors so that we can have two things going on at once. <laughs> For most of the, the course, I was teaching um, the, the more beginner sessions, um, and Chris was teaching some more advanced sessions on modality and um, other things of that <laughs> nature. The key is good posture for this kind of side really. Keep your body straight so looking forward is easy. Lift your music up so if it's just below the place where my hand is <clears> waving. Okay, and then hopefully you can see both at the same time. And if your eyes are, are young and supple, you'll be able to shift focus, and otherwise you'll at least be able to keep both alert and your vision at the same time. Um, so. <laughs> How his goal is to have um, a number of people from several different scholars and to try to train them as groups so that they'll be able to sing better as groups when they go back to their own. Um, scholars and, and parishes instead of just trying to um, train us all in, individually. Good, we're getting there. Now, um, gentlemen especially, I want to see a smile on your faces. Okay, we can't sing with hallelujah in a convincing way we're not a smile on our faces. I thought it would make sense to have it running alongside the family retreat. It has the ben added benefit of providing the music for the family. And that means that everyone attending the chant course, participating in it, actually has uh, live singing to do, um, so to speak, um, liturgical singing throughout the weekend, including both a mass um, and other, other devotions, uh, the benediction um, and the office, and we have vespers and um, compline. Um, I, I think it's a bit of a mix. Most of them do sing with, or we're planning on singing with with scholars that sing for the traditional mass. Um, I, I believe there are a handful that, that don't or that sing primarily outside. That said, there are a number of them that aren't necessarily enti entirely familiar with the structure of things, how, how it works musically. Um, and this is both for mass and for Vespers and Copland, um, all of which part of the, the course was trying to teach how to get around that structure, how to, how to follow. I did enjoy it. It was a lot harder than I expected it to be, um, and I'm not because I'm not used to teaching, but but because um, it's just back-to-back -back sessions, and they keep going. <laughs> and also, as as I was giving the, the the talk on chant or whatever it was supposed to be, um, there there were two back-to-back -back sessions in the morning, followed by the talk on chant, followed immediately by mass, all of which I, <laughs> I had to be on top of everything for. But. Um, I think it went surprisingly well. <laughs>